Fox News alert, the CIA coming under increased fire this morning after a controversial report from Senate Democrats on its use of enhanced interrogation techniques. Those reports based only on CIA emails and transcripts painted those techniques as practically worthless, even though the committee never bothered interviewing anyone involved in the program. The use of coercive technique methods regularly resulted in fabricated information. Sometimes the CIA actually knew detainees were lying. Other times, the CIA acted on false information, diverting resources and leading officers or contractors to falsely believe they were acquiring unique or actionable intelligence. Is she right? Let's talk to former senior CIA operations officer Gary Bernson. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. Good morning, Steve. What has Dianne Feinstein and the Democrats, what have they done to the CIA? What they've just done, and this is the single greatest hit job on the CIA since the publication by Philip Agee of Inside the Company in the 1960s, and he was working for the Cubans. Mm -hmm. Was it ineffective, as, as Senator Dianne Feinstein is saying? Were these tactics, were they ineffective? I disagree completely with the findings with Senator Feinstein. This allowed the CIA to take out the second tier of Al-Qaeda, because you have to remember, after 9-11, bin Laden and Zawahiri went underground, and the second tier were the individuals that were attempting to plan and execute catastrophic attacks, and the United States suffered no follow-on catastrophic attack because of this program. Sure. You know, th when you look at the, at the report, Gary, it, it, there's no context. Remember, back then, we'd already lost 3,000 Americans. We thought that there was going to be another wave. And in fact, there's evidence that they were planning lots more attacks on the United States. We were just trying to do something. The president directed the CIA, go out there and stop something from happening. And that's what they did. Steve, in, in 2001, when we invaded Afghanistan, the first thing that we found was we captured a Saudi, and he had plans for an attack in Singapore, 20 tons of explosives against U.S., British, Israeli, and uh, Australian embassies. That was the follow-on. They had lots of things in trail, and, and, and this was a first sign to us to know that we knew they had lots of, of planned attacks on the shelf, and they had to be stopped. Gary, going forward, you know, we've heard that by releasing this report, it's going to put American lives at risk. You were a guy on the ground working for the CIA. What does this mean for other agents that are there on the ground now? What this is, is an I.O., information operations victory. Al-Qaeda, the news for front, uh, ISIS will use this document, cut it up. They'll be sending it out. This will be the single greatest recruitment document for ISIS and, and Salafist jihadist forces in the last 15 years. And the Democrats released it for political reasons? And they did. This is a political document. Look, there were no Republicans involved in this at all. Yeah. There were no Republican senators, none of their staff. They walked away. They could see what this was. Every page, paragraph, sentence, and every word and comma were, were a carefully orchestrated attack on CIA in that document. I was stunned reading it last night. I did TV yesterday and was trying to be careful in my commentary, but after I read it, I was horrified.